outro cast. Giovanni, Luke, pleasure to be speaking with you both. And and Luke, I'll throw it to you first. I'll give you a two-parter. How oh, yeah. are you and how does it feel to be on a junket with your co-star? There's no animosity, right? Where what was the first one? Well, how are you today? Oh, I'm I, I was good a second ago, but now I'm in this room, this digital room with Giovanni of all people. That's what I was gonna say. I, before my you personal do this. Sec- hey, before you get into your second answer, let me just leave the room so you can actually be honest. Okay? No, no, don't even worry. I can oh. say it straight to your face. Oh, oh please. Beautiful. He's so gosh darn good looking. You know what that does to another guy who has to be around that like 12 hours a day on a work schedule? That's I know he's moralizing. It he's hurts. training at the Top Gun Maverick gym. I know. He, he's putting in the work. <laughs> you joke. You joke. But he actually is. I actually am. <laughs> yeah, that was the thing I read in amongst my research and all that. So we were connected because uh, Chosen Season 4, you're both regulars in that. But then coincidentally, yesterday they announced Chosen Season 5. So the thing is, you can't escape the headlines of all the people on The Chosen. So so throwing it to Giovanni here, the, the two-parters, how are you? And uh, when did you find out that there was going to be a Season 5 of, of The Chosen? Did you find out through me, uh, through through this interview right now, or through the press release, or what? I had no idea we were doing a season five until this moment. I, so, I thought where season four was, ended was perfectly fine. Like that was good it. place uh, to end a series. The story? No, uh, I'm doing good, but I, I have to throw it back to, to Luke. It's good to see my buddy here. And it's always good to be working with him on set. And he's, he is, has so much positive energy and has such a good heart too. So uh, it's good to be doing this interview with him. But, um, but also, I'm I'm looking forward to it. We found, I mean, we found out even when, when filming season four that we were going to be doing season five. But we just got the scripts actually a few weeks ago, so that was the first time that we actually got a uh, uh, kind of a vision as to what was in store for us specifically this season. So I'm excited. We're a couple weeks away. It's insane. And if this is correct, and I hope my research is partially correct at the very least, it's filming in Utah and Texas in the season five? Correct. Yeah. Yep, we're starting in Utah for, for a few weeks, and then we will finish the season at our home base in Texas. Now, where was season four filmed comparatively? I ask that because these days you see a film or TV show that's set in Vegas, but it's actually filmed in New Mexico. And then you see it's set in New York, but it's really Georgia. You don't know anymore. Well, we considered filming in Vegas, but we realized uh, possibly not the greatest atmosphere to film. Palace was off the palace uh, off the books, unfortunately. Yeah. So, yeah. so we kind of stuck with what was natural, you know, Texas and Utah again. Wow, okay. Texas and, and Utah, not New York, not Los Angeles. And no. it's... No, we thought the like concrete buildings might get in the way of the skyline of ancient Jerusalem. Just we considered it though just for like unrealistic. two seconds, two seconds of consideration. But then we went back to our because we, we've been filming in Utah and Texas for a while, at least even when I started back in season two in late 2020 into 2021. Utah had given us this fantastic opportunity to film at their Goshen set, which has this fantastic recreation of a Jerusalem uh like uh structure that Mm -hmm. they take people on tours for and they were gracious enough they did our production a huge favor from my understanding for letting us film there and we abided by their rules and we did that but uh most most of the time our headquarters is in texas and that's where we filmed that's where we spent uh a lot of season three and they also built this fantastic amazing capernaum set there and so that's those are our main bases of where we film. It's a lot of Texas and a lot of Utah. <laughs> there was a junket that I did with a known actor last week, and his new movie takes place in Africa, yet they filmed it in California. So Ooh. I insist you really don't know where things are filmed these days. No, nah, that's the that's the magic of the movies. They transport you, but yeah, they yeah. don't transport the crew and cast. Yet. yet. That's yet. yeah. Yet. Well, Giovanni, we got it in the budget. You know, The Chosen's a great credit for you, but uh, a lot of guest starring roles, a lot. You've been popping up in a lot of places. What's the last thing that you actually filmed? Yeah, the last thing. So 
you know, obviously the strike has had such a hard effect on so many actors. You know, I know like a t we were very, very thankful to have gotten the interim agreement to finish out season four last season. Um, but I still had a ton of friends back at home that were that were really hurting. You know, they were working hospitality jobs, they're working nine to fives, trying to make ends meet as well, while while not really being able to audition. So that I think that's really halted a lot of people for from working, especially on the theatrical side. Um, but I was, I was very thankful la before last season to work on CSI Vegas, which was so much fun. I got to, uh, be on set for about a week and, mm -hmm. uh, play this, uh, this weatherman that wants to be kind of like more of like a investigator in the news industry. And, uh, it doesn't turn out so well for me. So that was, that was fun to play something a little bit, uh, like way different from Thaddeus. Um, and the crew and, and the director, everybody was so welcoming, too. So it was great just to dive into something different. Does CSI Vegas actually film in Las Vegas? I guess oh. Caesars Palace was 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 also off the books then. It was filmed in Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah. Again, the recurring theme here is you don't know where anything is filmed. I remember seeing CSI Miami's partially filmed around Long Beach, California. I think so. And and I believe 911 Lone Star is filmed primarily in LA as well. And I think the exteriors are in Austin. Uh, I'm like they, they go on a helicopter and like, okay, this is the nice Austin skyline. Let's go book it back to LA to film all the interiors and exteriors. I don't know anything. Luke, where are you based these days? Are you everywhere like I think you are? Oh, I, no, I'm actually nowhere. I'm, I'm primarily just in like a cardboard box. This is it. Uh, yeah, I think somewhere in the Sahara Desert. Uh, but when I'm not here, I'm very much located in Los Angeles, California, near my family, where, uh, where my mom can like pressure me into joining for minor dinners and family events, which and, I don't get to say no to that. And running a prominent charity that does amazing things for the world. Just that little detail about the family as well. Oh, you know, it's just it's all good. Merciful Ministries dropping up that that little note there it's it's mostly my 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 grandfather's uh charity that he has before he before he passed to make sure that um funds for people fighting cancer like he did uh were more readily available for those who weren't financially capable of dealing with their medical bills while fighting a very harsh disease to say the least and thank you to you and crew for doing that giovanni where where are you based these days I'm actually, in, I'm, I'm a nomad currently. So I'm in Los Angeles uh, currently, but my family's back in Michigan. So I try to split some time throughout the years uh, to, to go see family since I'm very close with them and want to spend as much time with them as possible. And then obviously when we're not in Texas and Utah filming, I come to Los Angeles because, especially for Luke, because I don't get to see this guy very often besides you don't. We actually really like hanging out a lot. So if he doesn't come back here, I'm probably going to be pretty sad because he's a friend that I, I like to hit up a lot and see if he's free to hang out. So, well, that, you know, goes, now, it's, now it's here on the air. My that goes to one of my huge, knows, huge, man. everybody knows. One of my generalizations is the more serious the show, the more likely people are joking within 30 seconds when they say cut. I it, don't know. I if anything, I feel like we're joking at the beginning of the day. Like if we're joking before they say action and then we just have to cut it off and go into the scene. Yes. If anything, I feel like sometimes we might be the most dejected or tired when they say cut because a lot of our situations, especially this past season, have been rough. We've had to be drenched in uh, in water. We've had to be like walking for miles and hours for like just just back to back and hot uh environmental uh stacies like the sun heat uh with these flat footed sandals that aren't very comfortable so usually when they say cut we're just like oh great tent chair just somewhere to sit well, more I internally though not not to say i i will say internally because everyone else is just very stone-faced they're like it's fine bring on the next take we'll do it liquid ivs help liquid IV self oh got it well on, on a show like yours when somebody does something bad to you and they say cut 
Does anyone say within a minute of it, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, anything like that? Do we? I don't believe so. I think we know each other so well at this point because we've been working together for, what, six, you know, five, six years at this point that we all know each other's personalities so well. So it's never a feeling of like, oh my God, I did this person wrong or like, uh, I screwed up here. It's like, we're all very comfortable with each other that if anything like that happens, we, we pick each other up very, very quickly. That's what makes it so much fun to play. It's like, we, we, it's so easy to want to take risks mm -hmm. um, because we're so comfortable with each other. Even when we're not filming, we're going out to dinner, we're having game nights, we're, you know, uh, going to coffee shops. And if we're, you know, on, in the off season, we have a huge WhatsApp group that we're always sending funny memes to and keeping in contact and getting together if we're in the same spot, karaoke nights. So I don't know. It just for me personally, I, what do you think, Luke? I, I just feel like it's a very comfortable place to, to, to take risks. No, you hit it right on the head. Usually we don't have to apologize because we know each other. We're if anything, we come up and we're like, nice, that was good. You scared me. Like, we're we're super supportive. And I think we know each other well enough to not to not be uh, thrown off by each other's performances. If anything, we just root each other on. And the show has a considerable reach overseas. The growth in Brazil is pretty astounding. Do either of you get to do the South America press tour in the near future? No. No, no, no. That's that's primarily set for for the the top tier, the cool characters. I'm I'm a bad guy, and he's too close to the bad guy. We both have names very close to the bad guy, so we're not yes, allowed. We, we tie each other in the two Judases. And if anything, they do it. They, also known as Judas in Scripture or Saint Jude. We're Judes. Uh, we're hate Judes. But so, there is hope. Hopefully, in the near future, that would be fun. I Brazil, our Brazil, like it's so cool to see the expansion from not only the States, but Brazil, Italy, the Philippines, you know, yeah. where, so that would be awesome to, to do a, a Europe tour as a full cast. I hope that's something we can do in the future. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. As we talked about season five, the filming is pretty close around the corner, which congrats to you both uh, as well. Now, as we wind out, uh, wind down here, two questions to each of you, the same questions unoriginally. So, and Giovanni, uh, are we allowed to know what's next for you besides season five? Or is that all you're talking about? End of story. Like in the chosen world or in general after that? Yeah. Sometimes when you're speaking to high profile entertainers, you find out that they have stuff coming up, but they're not allowed to say it until the Hollywood reporter or variety lifts the embargo. And then there's other people who go, oh, I want to tell you everything I'm doing. So I defer. Of course, there's 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 one potential opportunity that's around the corner that wouldn't be until later this year. But uh, for now, it's the the main focus is season five. I'm really excited about the storylines this season, um, uh, especially, you know, with Thaddeus. There's uh, some cool stuff coming that, uh, you know, fans have have, uh, you know, thought about potentially and, and wanted to see. So I'm excited to kind of dive in and. Uh, explore that this year same question you luke before the closer to you both that has nothing to do with the chosen uh yeah i, I was able to film a short film with an old friend of mine uh cairo smith for his As asakari productions uh it's a film called it's a short film called uh red team which is about like um artificial intelligence rising up and uh, getting out of hand. And it's more of a psychological thriller, which was just really fun to do with someone that I know really well. And just as a, a bit of a palate cleanser between uh, desert seasons. So that was, that was fun. I got to do that beardless and I hope it comes out relatively soon so I could share it with everybody. Beardless. Got it. Man's man right there. The oh, last man. question goes to you first as the follow-up loop. What's the last concert that you went to for fun? Because let's face it, you live in Los Angeles. There's great music every night of the week. Do you go to any of it? Yeah, actually, I do. I went to this, uh, the Open Folk LA in the, oh my goodness, what was it called? The LA Cafe shop. Basically, it's a, it's a spot where a lot of 
up and coming indie artists are going. I, I got to see two of my friends, Marlena Smith and Sandra Saad, uh, perform there with their bands, Eye of the Sun and just Marlena. Marlena is just her own music. But mm -hmm. I, I got to see some fantastic people like uh, this one artist, Gal Musette. She has like a gothic, um, angelic tone to her music. And it's beautiful. Uh, as well as someone who is playing the Thurman, which oh. if you don't know, is like, the, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's this uh, <laughs> instrument that you basically play uh, with the airwaves. So you, there are no strings, there are no buttons. You just play with the airwaves inside of the thing and it picks it up and it plays um noises it was super cool so that that was my most recent one but i i've been trying to get out more and i've been trying to see as much live music as i can because i didn't realize at a younger age how much cooler live music was compared to just listening it on a cd or uh oh man i just gave away my age but uh yeah. or on streaming or on streaming <laughs> or on a vinyl record or a cassette or an eight track. You see, you didn't oh, get oh, oh. I'm not that old. Careful. Yeah, there you go. Careful, and Darren. I'm still youthful. I am. You, I... you are a man of the time. How about we'll compromise with that one? Perfect. Okay. Jimmy, last, last same unoriginal question at you. Last concert. Oh man, I'm a huge, so surprisingly enough, and I don't find many of these in Los Angeles. I'm a huge country music fan. Uh, that country, makes sense. Yeah, from Michigan. It's, I'll take that as a compliment. You should. Thank you, brother. But I went to see uh, when I was still in Michigan. Actually, last year I went with a buddy I've known since elementary school. He we went to see uh, Chris Young in concert. He did like. Uh, at the Fillmore Theater in Detroit, he did like this small, intimate concert, maybe a few hundred people or maybe maybe a thousand up to that. Uh, and he was just on acoustic playing tons of his old material, some new material. I've been trying to also, because I love country music, I've been trying to play guitar for years. I know, Luke, you know how to play a little bit. I oh, play really? my guitar from home. And guess how many times I have played it since being in L.A.? Twice. Zero. Zero oh. times, mm. and I don't know how to play it, so that is still on my list to know. Giovanni, oh, we should jam. My my barely known uh abilities plus your well enough known abilities could combine and just just a very basic band. Maybe we could be the Judas. Yeah, we could oh. call it the two Judases or the yeah two Judes maybe. Yeah, Jude. Perfect. Judai, uh, I think that's Judai. Uh, uh, that's great. Judy. But the key is, if you bring the guitars for season five, when you're sitting around doing nothing in the trailer, there's the band time to write your album. Perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. There, start, we'll yeah. send you our. We'll send you our first. Uh, our first single. Two mm -hmm. thumbs up. I'm looking forward to that. But thank you in the meantime to you both for your time looking forward to season five and whatever you have coming next whether it is a short film whether it is being uh severely beaten on csi vegas whatever it is looking forward to both of it from you thanks darren appreciate Thank you so time. much Outro cast.